Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome back to Narkisutsai 2nd. Let me adjust my microphone just a wee bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get uh, into it. Let's just jump into it. 15th summer. Those dazzling days, those summer days. Burning sunlight and the sound of cicadas, I think. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce that word. All, today also looked like it would be a hot day. The third summer I've faced since the day I was first hospital hospitalized. Of course, it's not like I was hospitalized the whole time. They were there. They were days. 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 God. <clears throat> I'm gonna just assume that they meant there were days interrupted with. It's been half a year since they last came. The time I spent wearing pajamas slowly grew. And as if in direct proportion, the number of people who came to visit me shrank. At first, classmates came to, me, came to visit me every day. People that were once called friends. Well, you told them to stop visiting you! So it's kind of your fault, really. But now they have turned into acquaintances. Even if I meet them on the street, they leave, they leave after exchanging a few words of greeting. Soon those acquaintances will turn to strangers, and someday I'll probably be erased from their memories. I mean, you told them to you told people to stop visiting you. So what did you what did you expect? What what outcome were, ex were you expecting for that? It probably makes them uncomfortable. For people who live normally, my very existence to them. Even if they meet me, it probably doesn't raise their spirits. And probably the same goes for for thinking about me. And so, I think they've decided to erase me. Yet, whenever the end of the school day came, every day, I continued to watch for someone to come. And then, after half a year of waiting, I stopped looking outside. Finally, I remembered to close the curtains, except for the fact, guessed up the reason. After three years, even I came to understand. It's not that they had forgotten about me. It seemed they made as if it seemed they made as if from the start they never knew me, never saw me. As if there had been nothing there to begin with. Want to keep their eyes closed. Around when I was being admitted in and out of the hospital, when people had already stopped coming to visit me, and I had most likely been erased from everyone's memories, my family moved from the freestanding home. My family moved from the freestanding home we had long lived lived in to an apartment. My mother started working part-time in a nearby takeout lunch shop. The meaning behind it all, even I couldn't understand. Hospital fees were no joke. In the, in the ward, every day, it was a conversation topic for the patients. I came to know how the patients themselves felt the responsibility to their families far more than the families could imagine. And then, the small, old, slightly dirty wooden building that was our new home. 
on top of being smaller, father's daily commute stretched to over two hours. Meanwhile, the distance I had to take to the hospital became a three-minute walk. In front of that beat-up, cramped apartment, father said, the air here is nice and feels good, doesn't it? Saying that, he smiled and thought another smiled in the same way. Because the heat might aggravate my health, I put an air conditioner in my room. Of course, no other room had one. And mother, who had started to, who, who had started going to that part-time job, often brought back
walking under the blazing sky. The noisy cicadas and running sweat was the same as just before. Was the same as just before. But the people who walked by, their eyes did not pause on me. Upon me, their eyes did not pause upon me. Even I, as a part of the backdrop, backdrop of the city, was a part of what builds up everyday life. I felt accepted. And then, when I entered the schoolyard from earlier, before my eyes was a metal bar for small children to play with. I extend my hands toward it. Hands toward it. <laughs> Placing strength into my arms, I pulled with all my might and kicked at the ground. A moment's sensation of floating. My body spins around. Hey, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Woo, boy. Hello. Nice screenshot. up this opportunity. Good screenshots are good screenshots for a reason. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Myself. I'm so alone. I have no one else to talk to but myself. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I should be the same as everyone. Should be the same as the normal people who weren't over there. Who were over there. So just, a, so just from a somersault around a bar, I shouldn't be making such a strained face. Because I felt that way, I forced myself to make a smile. Yeah, you can see that. But just as I was unable to stop the shaking of my arms, it seemed that too was difficult for me. Narikisos. Jeez. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Narkisu Side Second. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye!